Hello and welcome to day one of Vlogmas. So today's video I actually started filming like two weeks ago. We are making some Christmas cards and because I wanted to send some to my family in Australia I had to get started on this like a month early. So let's head back to whatever it is that I started filming this video. Okay, welcome to the first video. Ignore any background noise, it's gonna be like this for all of Vlogmas and it has been in pretty much all of my videos. Normally when I'm doing like a sit down chatty video i just don't film until after 5 pm when the construction workers like finish for the day but this is just what we're gonna have to deal with it's currently the 9th of november so this little video is filmed much earlier than the rest of vlogmas but i want to get this one up on december 1st and also it's about sending things to australia so i'm already probably too late potentially to get everything there in time but i've already made some gifts for my two nieces and today's plan is to make some christmas cards for my mom my both my sisters my nana stuff like that and i'll also make some more christmas cards for the uruguayan family but they don't need to be sent until you know a month's time so Priority number one is to get some white paper, get my paints out and start making some Christmas, Christmas little paintings. I don't have any fancy art supplies or paper. I do have this notebook. It's a visual art diary. So the paper is a bit thicker than like normal printer paper, but I'm gonna test it on this and then see how that turns out. And then tonight maybe we'll put on a Christmas movie and paint the rest of them. Quickly before I get into the painting, I wanted to show you the little dresses I made. So this is the first one I made for my eldest niece, Daisy. She is turning three in just under a month, but this was supposed to be her birthday dress, but there's no way it's gonna get there by the 2nd of December. So it'll be just like a Christmas present. I put these little diamante flowers all over and then went back and just added some single I want these in the gaps because a full circle skirt and I wanted it to look like full of diamantes even when it's hanging like this and you can only see the, the pleats but the whole point of doing the elastic is so that it will hopefully fit her for this year, next year and the year after maybe because it's quite stretchy but this is technically a size 3-4 and she's turning 3 but my sister said that they're basically buying her size four from now on so that it won't, you know, it's a whole thing with kids. You don't want to buy them something that they can only wear for like three months. You want it to last them a while. So I've got adjustable straps with the little bows and elastic in here. I might even start selling these. I'm considering trying to sign up for a little market where I can go and like showcase the little things I make because this next outfit is for my youngest niece, her little sister. <laughs> it's the exact same thing and I thought Daisy's dress was adorable and the cutest thing I'd ever made until I made this but basically anything small smaller is just cuter so this is a little size one because Frankie will be one in February again it's a full circle skirt so if she I mean she can't even walk so she's not gonna be twirling around but you know in theory if she twirls is this full little circle skirt same with the little elastic and because she's a baby some little bloomers to go underneath and i'm honestly obsessed again not the most practical outfit not an everyday or a childcare outfit but for christmas for her birthday this is gonna be cute as anything got my little tags on the inside so these this was stage one was to make the outfits. Now that they're done, I could technically ship these out today, but I want to ship the cards out at the same time. Just send it all to my mom's house and then she can disperse things to who they need to go to because shipping right now is one, really expensive and two, pretty delayed because of COVID. And then on top of that, because of Christmas. So that's why I'm filming this video in November and posting it 
in December. So if you're watching this and you haven't already sent out your Christmas gifts, get on it like today. <laughs> Okay, so I also have these tiny little bows which we've been making and Alejandro <laughs> had the idea to make some out of denim. I think they're so cute. Denim, denim, like, denim. Here we have three little ones of these. I don't know where the third one is, um, but this one's like a little bow tie. And then you thought we could attach them to either like dog collars and things or to little hair ties or hair clips for like kids. But it's a great way to use up the like random scrap scraps I have of fabric that are not really big enough to do anything else with but back to the Christmas cards I have not that many supplies again in Australia I have so much more paints and art supplies but I have this one little thing of watercolors which I think I'm going to use mostly and then I have a little bit of like gouache paint <laughs> these ones are all metallic so I thought this would be fun for some accents and there's red green black white and gold and blue which isn't particularly Christmassy but you can use that one as well Maybe and then these mine. Pretty and then these two are golds as well or gold and copper which I thought I could use to like write Feliz Navidad or whatever so that is the concept I'll film probably just making one or two of the paintings now and then tonight we're going to put on, what would, what did you say? Well, it's going to be Nightmare Before Christmas or Rise of the Guardians. Rise of the Guardians and just time lapse during the rest of them. Peppermint Patty trying to bounce up on my candy cane We get it and we make some candy rain Chocolate thunder, me drop it down at Junior Up a tropic thunder, why he yelling out Calabunga Yo, Santa hit me up, ask him who the fuck the plug was Hey yo, I told him he could check my list I need a pack of dosey dos and the white runs mixed On the count of like four, five, six And then he asked me where the hoes at I told him somewhere out in California Now me and Santa Cruz and out in Santa Monica Bumping silent night, you know that my Alia It's the night before for Hanukkah, and we linked up with some girls who trying to swallow us. Uh, got their ass coughing, bro, and they still asking what the fuck the size of was. Dude, Dude, you can't eat the pain. Don't eat the pain. <laughs> Luckily, it's for kids, so it's like, non toxic. I should have been filming because that was fucking incredible. He slapped the shit out of it, out of her hand, and now he looks like he's bleeding. Don't lick it. It's kid friendly, so it's non toxic, but still. <laughs> you stupid motherfucker. Like, no, it's my war wounds. <laughs> you got a fucking red shoulder now, stupid. You think? They ask coffee, Brian, and they still ask her what the fuck the Zaza was. <laughs> What's Zaza? What's Zaza? What's Zaza? Well, what's Zaza? Uh, we show you just to be peculiar. It's exotic, Mr. Toe. Hey, it's exotic, Mr. Toe. It's exotic, Mr. Toe. Hey, wait, uh, I say. We show you just to be peculiar. It's exotic, Mr. Toe. Uh, you know we smoke the finest dough. Uh, you know we smoke the donuts. Hey, we smoke the finest. Uh, yeah. That's probably it. Okay, it has been like a few weeks since I started filming this video. The plan was to start filming like two weeks early, get all the cards done so I could send them out, then make a few more and upload this video on the 1st of December, which it is today. So I'm finally finishing it. But a few more here. Some of them are more finished than others. Do you want to come show your cards? I went for more of like a traditional Christmas ones with some more trees and some baubles. This one needs a little strings and stuff attached still. And then this one was fireworks, so it was a bit of a joint effort. It turned out a lot better than it turned out a lot better than my original firework card. She's and very then what bad did you at do? physics. Um, and then this one I gotta fix it, but it says well I'm just like you. Because the stocking. So we had different um what would then, you call and it? And then this one is a different creative An inside direction. joke from, from my family because I found a rock on the beach in Australia and I thought it was a meteorite and it was just a brick. Um, so, and then this one's for Maddie. 
better have got me a good idea. It's vegan cheese too, so. Well, if it's Gouda, then it's not vegan. No, but that's the point. It's vegan Gouda. So it's garbage. There was also another one, but we can't, I can't find, find it. the other. It's in here somewhere. And of course, these cards are for his family who mm. live here, mm. or for his parents and his sister who are, well... Hopefully not. <laughs> who are traveling here for Christmas. The plan was they would arrive, his sister was going to arrive on the 15th and his parents on the 17th of December, so in two weeks. But now something has happened with the pandemic. Surprise, surprise. So his parents may or may not be allowed, be allowed to leave Spain. Do you want to explain briefly? Oh, it's a new variation. So it's just reached the Omicron um, just reach Spain so like now unless you're an actual Spaniard you can't really leave and they're not pe letting people travel so yeah but we'll see I mean they might because it's Christmas and like they've already had their stuff booked it mm. might be different and but. we've got two weeks before just under two weeks before they were supposed to leave and the thing is his dad has a diplomatic passport which normally would be a benefit but technically Omicron or whatever they're calling it like originated in the no. southern part of Africa is what they're saying no that's what the lies are saying. That's oh, what, so that's, that's what, the only reason it came up in South Africa is because South Africa was they they figured it out because we have one of the most advanced. Um, scientific okay, so they detected like, it there first because we were the one we've got we've been studying AIDS and and like mm. HIV for years because it's a major like, okay. thing over there. So they had the scientists to do it. Yeah. Well, my point is his dad is South African. Yeah. So, so even if the virus didn't start in South Africa, it. We doesn't were the look good. Yeah, we were the ones that were like, hey, it exists, and now everybody's mad at us because we were, you know, nice to tell yes. everyone, the world, that it exists. <laughs> so, long story short, these cards are for his parents if, if they, they come. come. When they come. When, when they come, because they're coming. Even if they don't arrive until January, we will give them their cards in January. And his grandma, aunts, uncles, cousins, they all still live here. So, we're still going to do something for Christmas, but our plans. <laughs> I mean, may or may not. We might make change. some Spanish ones or something. Oh, yeah, mine are going to say Feliz Navidad. Oh. But you can do some joke ones or some more like humor ones in Spanish, maybe for like your family if you okay. want to, or at least for Rafa. Yeah. I mean, he speaks English too, but. Yeah. Um, Barely. He's pretty good. Um, well, yeah, so this is going to be the end of day one. I don't know if I even told you this, but I'm planning to do kind of like Vlogmas. Oh, no, please not. Only like. Two no, vlogs a no, week. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Vlogmas stressed you out so much. Yeah, but I, I like watching them back. So two, we're going to post two vlogs a week every Wednesday and Friday. And then on Sundays, I hope to post a like non-vlog video, kind of like our normal videos that we've been posting on this channel. But we'll see. Don't get too mad if I miss a day. But We're going to miss a day. We're definitely going to miss a day. <laughs> I had it all planned out, so it's going to be a vlog where we pick up your parents from the airport. We have to get seats first. Yeah, exactly. So There's things to do, but... It will be a very fun month, and even if I have to combine a few vid videos together, I'm not going to film every single day or anything, because I have way too much going on. We both have too much going on, but it'll be a fun little um, fun month either way, with hopefully some international visitors. But Fingers crossed. We'll see. So actually, question of the day, comment down below which country you are currently living in and if there are any pandemic changes that might, may or may not affect your Christmas. Here, everything is looking fine and dandy so far because we're heading into summer and away from cold and flu season. But I know that's the opposite in Europe or North, North America. Is, yeah, so, so yeah. yeah. Good luck. We'll just have to Don't wait and see what either. happens. Just like, you know, just trust. It It'll is what it is, and it is what it is. It'll be either fine. way, we're all gonna have a good Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, happy holidays. If not, yeah. Happy holidays, and see you in two days with vlog number two. Bye. You gonna say bye? Ciao. Adios. Hasta, hasta luego. Al vida se. Guten Nacht. Guten Nacht. No, good day. I don't know. But anyway, bye bye. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Yeah.